Alrighty, so this is going to be a bit of a different video for me. And this is stuff that what well, is kind of tied to things that I was doing back in like 2015, 2016, give or take. I was definitely involved in things um, in certain communities on YouTube back then. I do feel like I don't need to make the video. I don't. There's no reason for me to, but I'm just going to do it to kind of warn people about the dangers of going down certain rabbit holes on the internet, um, associating with certain types of people who might have a lot of baseless claims, accusations, like false ideas, and just misrepresenting what the truth really is. So I'm just going to talk about the truther communities, if anybody remembers anything about that, I'm sure there's probably a lot of people that have no idea what that even means. Truthers, they were just kind of groups of people back in the day, like back in those days, before a lot of stuff got nuked on YouTube, that were just kind of pointing out stuff with the occult, um, secret society type stuff, and they were attempting to kind of shed light on certain things that they were noticing within the entertainment industry um, maybe a little too much so maybe they were just kind of too focused on certain things so that's what I want to make the clear distinction on is that there are folks that are still out there and active that are still doing some of those things but maybe less often not as much maybe they're focused on the Bible more which is something I would want to encourage is focus more on the Bible less on what the enemy is trying to do because if you, even if you do see patterns and you recognize certain things. I mean, there's only so much that's going to do for you, I think. If you're doing that kind of stuff regularly and you make content, like, I feel like you're in kind of a dangerous area. Like, you're just pointing out too many things and stuff like that. And I don't want to be somebody that is spreading any more misinformation or conspiracies. I just want to be somebody that cautions people and warns people about the dangers of going down those rabbit holes. Because I was somebody that was kind of loosely kind of tied to some of that. I was following some of these people back then, listening to some of their content or watching it. And, you know, it was guys like him, you know, Jeff C. And this guy, this isn't even his original channel. It's been nuked a few times. And then there's this spy kitten girl. And there's other people that were kind of sort of intermingled and like maybe there was some overlap between channels and what like it, that they might have collaborated with each other a little bit. You know, there's a guy called Vigilant Christian at one point. I think he still has a channel, but he's not on it anymore. I think he even got either tired or just kind of stopped doing it. I don't think there's anything really. I don't want to say that anything really did happen to these people, but there's. Definitely some oddities like the Jeff C character. Some people don't even understand what happened to him But he was spreading a lot of misinformation a lot of like really demonstrably demonstrably false ideas that like Sandy Hook was a hoax and stuff like that and You know, he's not around anymore and people did suspect something did happen to him as well as spy kitten she was another girl that was kind of spreading misinformation and just talking a little too much about certain things. I don't really know if just focusing all on that and if like there was any truth to any of the stuff that they were talking about. You know, I don't want to be somebody that says, oh, all this stuff is like completely false and that there's no reality there. But I mean, you're kind of like, you know, taking jabs. You might be taking jabs and maybe even spreading certain types of info that could be false about certain people allegations and stuff and then you know those people might take a special interest in you if you're doing too much of that kind of stuff you know so there's not like there's conspiracies around this girl's channel because she's no longer around anymore like it's been six years now since her uploads i don't know like i really have no indicator and i don't want to spread anything maybe they just didn't want to do it anymore. Maybe they did get some flack for some of the stuff. You know, there's that possibility too. I don't want to be just somebody that believes that a lot of these people, you know, were off or something really happened to them. So anyway, at the end of the day, it's just a warning that spreading or talking about certain things, 
focusing too much on even if there's some elements of truth to like like the devil and like back the background of everything going on and symbolism and stuff like that that there is even biblical truths warning against stuff like that there are stuff that talks about not looking into that stuff sorcery and the occult and stuff like that kind of warning against that type of stuff um <clears throat> And I've even talked about it on my channel a couple times. I've tried to, at least on a few of my videos, I've talked about, I think, Deuteronomy, the same scripture, or these scriptures, multiple scriptures. Because even a girl like Spy Kitten has talked about Jehovah's Witnesses in a very disparaging and like, you know, muddy, like a muddying the waters kind of way. Like, even if they did understand certain aspects of them, like they were spreading a lot of misinformation about witnesses and stuff like that could be you could disprove a lot of the things just doing research into the witnesses and stuff like that. And there have been people that have debunked a lot of the stuff that these people have said. And I'm not going to focus on that. I just know that I was somebody that like I commented on one of uh, Spy Kitten's videos once kind of calling her out on some of that stuff because you know, she was trying to spread misinformation about the witnesses because other people like the Vigilant Christian were doing it. So maybe she was following his lead. Because like I said, a lot of these people were overlapping at one point. And a lot of them still might have the same ideas. Maybe they still believe some of that stuff. But all I'm going to say is that, I mean, you can believe what you want about certain people. If you do think there's something weird, you know, everybody's entitled to an opinion. I'm going to use... The Jehovah's Witness website as a reference just for the Bible because I do believe that the uh, New World Translation happens to be the most accurate or as close to accurate uh, version of the Bible and that's why I referenced that Bible so these guys have no ties the witnesses have no ties to any of these people I want to make that clear distinction that there's no affiliation or ties to any of these people I'm using their Bible or the Bible to talk about certain things Deuteronomy 18 and I want to make sure that people know that the witnesses have nothing to do with any of these channels like they don't even have YouTube they don't even do YouTube they prefer you go to the website to find information I'm just using the Bible okay so Deuteronomy 18 verses 10 11 12 13 kind of shows you there should not be found in you anyone who makes his son or daughter pass through the fire Anyone who employs divination, anyone practicing magic, anyone who looks for omens, looks for omens, a sorcerer, anyone binding others with spells, anyone who consults in spirit mediums, fortune tellers, anyone who inquires of the dead, whoever does these things is detestable to Jehovah. So it's basically, you know, they, uh, you shouldn't be just looking for stuff all the time. Because that could be another form of actually playing into the devil's traps. Like, it is kind of a snare when you're just looking for stuff in everything that you do. Like, and then you're just paranoid all the time. You're just worried about things for no reason. So I do caution people not to go down certain rabbit holes. Because, I mean, there might be some truth to some stuff. But, you know, if you're just too focused on that type of stuff and not really being prayed up and studying the word and association with brothers and sisters you know if you're not regularly like trying to be you know um, a practicing Christian and you're just too focused on the idea of exposing what the devil is doing like yeah you want to expose him to some degree like you want to warn people and that's kind of what I want to do here and also to say that some of the stuff these people have said about witnesses is false and I've hung around witnesses my whole life, and I've never seen a lot of this stuff that they've talked about. Except for their beliefs, they just don't believe in certain things. And then people find that to be strange, I guess. But I don't think being purist, like Christian purist, is actually a strange thing. Just wanting to not be mixed in with certain things or be involved in things. I don't find that to be strange. I find that to just be, they're trying to keep their noses clean. They're trying to be, you know separate themselves from the world essentially which is something i need to be doing a lot more of too is something i try to do to try to separate myself from certain things so 
and it's it can be difficult sometimes because you get caught up in the mix sometimes you do on the internet if you're on it a little too much you get a little lost sometimes but you always can come back from it if you're just on the internet but if you're actually out there and stuff you know in the world like that can be a little bit more you know you can have a hard time so anyway i just want to thank you for watching if anybody has watched this point either subscribe do anything and uh yeah and i appreciate anybody who has watched this long could have probably said that at the beginning of the video i just want to get to the point and get the ball going always uh err on the side of caution and uh take everything with a grain of salt when it comes to people on the internet and I, like I said, I don't know what happened to some of those people on the internet. And I don't want to spread any information. So I um, hope everybody has a good day and uh, I'll see you on the next one.